Oh, I want you to tell me what, what I, I gotta follow you. You gotta follow yes, me. Yes, yeah. No, we're already following each other. Oh, you, oh we are. Okay, <laughs> That's on Twitter. She go DJ Moxie here for Moxie TV. I'm here with my girl, Carly Red. Hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm blessed. Happy to be in London. What have you been up to since you've been to London, since you've touched down? Because you literally only touched down yesterday. And it's like you've been in a million places in the space of like 48 hours. It feels like that. But, um, okay, so as soon as I touched down, I went from a photo shoot, one of the best photographers in London, and I did um, a, a magazine shoot, and oh my gosh, we worked with some amazing stylists, some amazing designers, and makeup artists in here. And then, uh, straight from there, I, I literally just like ran to my hotel and got ready for press. And wow, yeah, I was interviewed by a lot of press, and everyone was so nice, and everyone was like, you know, doing it, and was young, and you know, a lot of the um, I'm. I just want to say, I want to commend you guys in London. Oh, Yeah, because a lot of the journalists were, like, really young and down to earth, like, in the, in, in the States. There's some young journalists, but a lot of them are, like, you know, um, <laughs> they know they've been in the business for years. And, you know, and you guys are, like, new generation journalists. Oh, I like that. Yeah, no, really. I was, like, a lot, you know, they were hip. Um, so you have your new single, um, yes. Heartbreaker, Heartbreaker, featuring Young Dre. Yes, Ooh. not Young Jock. Young, <laughs> not Young Jock. It's like, oh, Young Dre, not Young Jock anymore. Yeah. What happened with that? Why did you remove Young Jock from that? Well, as you can see, um, if you were watching the show, um, it all played out on the show. That, um, you know, Jock brought the record to me, and we were going to do something special, support each other in our music, and we're going to make this big duet. And then it just all came to a crash when he started messing around with another woman behind mm -hmm. him. <laughs> right? Miss Piggy, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Tell us everybody, right? And um, so when it, he, you know, and I'm saying that about her because it's just like any, whether, you, you know, whenever your man cheats on you, you're going to call her whatever first thing that comes out your mouth, right? <laughs> Bitch, whatever, right? Right? Yes. Yeah, yes. so she's whatever to me. Anyway, so um, once he started cheating on me, I realized, like, okay, so he doesn't want to do the music anymore. He's not handling his business. And I just decided to handle my business and step up my game and show these men, you don't play with us, right? Mm -hmm. You cannot play with these women. We will catch you. We will do it. <laughs> yes, child. Yes. So I literally had to... Um, literally had to like you know step my game up and uh you know to make a boss move be a boss be a woman boss and say you know what i'm gonna buy this record from the producer from the writer even though you're the one who introduced me to and there was no loyalty on your part because these niggas ain't loyal <laughs> and they talk about these hoes ain't loyal why do you do a remix to that song I should. Huh? <laughs> you really should. Yeah, I, I, matter of fact, I will. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, I mean, he was, there was no loyalty from him, and he just, like, told us. So I said, you know what, I'm going to buy the record. But the record, write a producer, and and then um, as you as you see on Love and Hip Hop, I yeah. did the music video. I yeah. got signed off the record. And, shit, man, I just freaking one day heard Young Dro on, yeah. the, on the radio, and I always... I don't know, Young Joe, you know, he's signed a T.I. Yeah. And he has this popular, popular song on the radio called FTB. And it's just, I love that song. What I mean, I love that song, I love that song. So I have that song on repeat. And I'm just like, I wonder if I can get Joe on this. <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if I could get Joe on my record. And I just went and contacted his people. And he next thing you know, he's, he's on the record. And did a real good job. It seems like you're trying to take your music to the next level and you're really trying to get yourself out as an artist. Do you feel that being on um, Love and Hip Hop um, uh, kind of blocks that, that it kind of gives people a perception or a certain perception of you or it's may maybe the reality show uh, makes it hard for people to take you seriously when it comes to music? Well, um, I got into music. Well, I was already doing music, right, before I got on the show. And I got on the show because, see, in the industry, it's like a double standard. One minute they're saying, okay, well, you have to have some platform, some buzz, and people have to know who you are, the fans and everything, and, and right? And then the next minute they're saying, well, you got to have music, and, you know, so it's like I said, okay, I'm going to do Love and Hip Hop because it's a platform for me for people to hear my music. 
And I'm not saying that like I'm the best artist in the world. I'm I'm straight up and down. You know, all artists we grow from here, and then we're like, you know, we didn't start from. You start from somewhere. Beyonce wasn't always just this, you know, amazing artist. She yeah. grew into that. Yeah. That's just everybody. And um, so I grew from an artist that was just, you know, struggling and trying to make it. And, you know, I bloomed into a better artist. And now I'm taking my craft very seriously. And obviously people like Young Dro is, otherwise he wouldn't have never got on a song. Uh, what was your main aim coming here to London? Like, literally, I would come here for free. Like, I would buy my own ticket, buy my own flights, hotels, everything, and come here for free. Because I, I want to experience the culture. I want to connect with you know, you guys, because I know you guys are watching this show. I see it on my Twitter my yeah. face, and my Instagram, and they're like, come to London, come to London. I'm like, I gotta go see these people. <laughs> what are please, you talking about? I'll make them, get them to air the show in London, please. I would love to, but I, if, girl, if I had a satellite, put it right here for you. <laughs> I, if, I, if I had it, I would, because I want everybody to watch how crazy we are. But, you know, it, I just was like, you know what, I want everyone in London to know me as a person get to know me no besides the reality show because all you guys are seeing is 30 minutes yeah yeah of my whole life right or an hour of, well really it's 50 pieces yeah. so five ten minutes of my whole life but I want you to get to know me Marcy as a person and yeah. like damn so you could go back and you could tell your media and your friends and people who who may see a bad day of Carly on the show that no I interviewed her and she's cool as fuck like a lot of my friends watch so a lot of my friends love you by the thank way you, you. but then obviously you get the critics what what was your um opinion on the whole reunion and how it played out like i want to know what you think oh, of gosh. what happened because it was i know you can't talk too much but it was a, let's be honest it was a mess it was a hot mess and i just want to know what what did what did you think about it overall well um i'll tell you what i'll say this a lot of what the cameras catch us off the show is not nearly as bad as what they catch on the show. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. We are crazy. We are a bunch <laughs> of crazy. And when Mona casted us, she was like, I know exactly what I'm doing. We, and shout out to Mona. I always tell shout out to Mona. You know, she, she's a genius. She's a genius. She, she is. Yes, she's she is. a genius. She created, she's um, amazing. I love her to death and I look up to her because I'm like, you know, for her to put together such amazing cast and do something as big as Love and Hip Hop is just, it was amazing. What do you think of um, Love and Hip Hop New York? I think it's it's you know it's a franchise of us. It's just like you know what do you think of Kentucky Fried Chicken in London? Or, you know <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> or, or, you know, right, McDonald's in London or in the states. You know it's yeah. a franchise. So do you, do you actually get on with any of the other cast? Do you actually chill and hang out with them? Yeah, of course. Who do you hang out with? Who do you chill with? I hang out with. Um, I chill with Erica sometimes. Sometimes Rashida. Uh, sometimes um, Mimi, Mimi, definitely Mimi. Um, yeah. And Jocelyn? Yeah, I mean, once in a while, once in yeah. a blue moon, it'll be Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. So there's not really any an amnesty or any like issues between any of the cars right now, in real life? Right, right now I have no issues with anyone, but just like any relationship. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you and your girls, you don't have an everyday just all you know you're just the best of friends every day a perfect perfect relationship if you're talking you know every day on a regular basis just it's just like any relationship even your boyfriend and girlfriend relationship you have your ups and downs so i had we as a cast you know and as friends we have our ups and downs just like any relationship um the recent season of love and hip-hop has just wrapped up what is next for you in regards to love and hip-hop what's carly red and love and hip-hop's future together you have to see. Oh my gosh! You can't watching. tell me an exclusive. You have to keep watching. But okay, okay. Yeah, but um, I'll tell you this. You know, this season I definitely my music game stepped up. Everything just like uh, my my entrepreneurship stepped up, and it's just I'm just growing to the next level, growing to the next level, and I have a movie coming out. Ooh. Mm -hmm. With Chris. Hey. Rock. Yep, with Chris Rock called Finally Famous. And um, it's uh, so many, oh my God, so many great actors in this movie. Gary Union, Kevin Hart. Uh, wow. And, yeah, and it comes out in theaters. So you should get it here, right? Is it, is it coming out here? Because we don't get loads of, like, is it like a black movie? It is. We don't get loads of black movies here. It's not fair. You don't think that it'll, I mean, if it's in theaters, you don't think you'll get it? I think you will. I, I don't know. I don't know, because the film industry is a bit funny here, to be honest with you. Yeah. So we don't know, especially when it comes to black movies. 
Oh, so wow. Just, like, I hope it comes out here. It so amazing. how do you guys keep up with the rest of the world? The internet is our friend. Google's our friend. Social networks, working, all of that. That's literally how we do it. Wow. <laughs> so you have to be like... You have to have Wi-Fi everywhere you go. You, you, <laughs> you cannot live without Wi-Fi. Like, seriously. Wow. But um, that's how we keep up with everything. Seriously. That's how it is here. That's so you need to come visit. I, seriously, I've never been to the States. So I need, like, I, I, maybe you can be my tour guide in Atlanta. Like, that's I need to know, true. like, to what it's like. like. Um, Yeah, you, you and the girls just take a trip. And would they let you? Like, would you? are you? Yeah, of course. Me? Okay, cool. So yeah, you and your girls, just like one day say, you know what? I'm, we're just going to take a trip and... and Get out of the, you know. Give me the five top places to go in Atlanta. Oh my gosh. Well, look. Well, let's say this. The best time to go, you know, we have the hip hop awards. We Ooh. have the, you know, um, so many the classics. You know, the college classics, and we have, oh my gosh, so many award shows. And I, and you know, um, what's good for Atlanta is a lot of, um, a lot of. Uh, you know, we like all these studios, Universal. You know, Tyler Perry has a big studio out yeah. there. So it, thank God for him, for Tyler Perry having this big studio out there. Well, in the meantime, Universal, all these like they're creating studios and everything in Atlanta. Music-wise, what are we gonna hear next? We've got this amazing track, Heartbreaker. What's next musically for you? I have another single that's about to hit. Crazy girl is about to hit. I'm trying not to give you any exclusives. Oh, come on, you have to. Give you an exclusive. Woohoo! It's featuring T-Pain. Oh, it's my so gosh. Cool. That's crazy. He's coming here and next month. Before. Yeah. Coming to London next month. Yeah, we have. A, a, if you get a chance to talk to him, yeah. tell him, hey, I interviewed Carly, and she told me about this great single that you have together. Oh, that's I love T-Pain. I'm obsessed with him. I love really? Him. I love him. He's such a cool guy. Really? Like, I mean, he's just really, really cool, down to earth, crazy. You know, that's my type. Like, crazy, cool, <laughs> you know, whatever. Not. I mean, and he has a wife, so not meaning like is he married no i didn't know that oh wow okay are you single mm -hmm. you're single now i'm single how are you single you're gorgeous how are you single how are you single are you single <laughs> i'm not married Oh, <laughs> like I feel bad. I'm saying. <laughs> so, you see, there's a problem. So, you're not looking for anything right now? I am. I'm, I want to be in a relationship. I don't think, I think every girl's dream is to, like, you have to be someone special not to be, like, wanting to be in a relationship. I mean, yeah. Even though I'm so focused on all my businesses, like, okay, I have a hairline, I have a um, uh, makeup line, I have, um, a, uh, a clothing line I'm coming out with a laundry line and even though I have all these things going on it's like I still want to at the end of the day I want to go home and share that with someone oh yeah I really think you're gonna find someone you I do. really do think I'm not too sure who though but yeah you can do better than Yonjo yeah, 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 you can do a lot better. No, no woman wants a man that's cheating, right? No, honey. Like, and he been, what's crazy is he's been cheating on me from the day one. And it was like, if you would have just kept it real, yeah, yeah, wouldn't you yeah. appreciate a guy that's just gonna say, you know what, I don't want to be with you. I'm just gonna keep it real with you. And why did he do that? Yeah, exactly. That's that's the question that um, we're asking ourselves as well. Like. You should have just been straight up with her. What's the point? What's the point? You went through all that for what? You know what? What I like, though, about that aspect of the show is that a lot of girls can relate to that. And that's going to probably increase your fan base even more. Just just that being played out on TV. And the song, is... And the song. There you go. It's about exactly what I went through with my relationship with him. So a lot of girls do tell me they do relate to it. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Carly Red from Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, and you are watching Mark TV, the most down-ass chick ever. Thank you.